Hello, fellow hunters, and welcome back to Call of the Wild. We are continuing to, we are, I'm sorry, we are continuing on our adventures to explore the entire map and unlock all of its points of interest, as well as grab a gold trophy of each type of animal. Currently, we have the mountain goat and mountain lion left to go before we have completed our set for this map. Um, our plan for today is to run over, complete this mission, then grab this lookout point over here, explore the surrounding area, and then we can kind of decide after that what we want to try to do. I don't think we're going to go after that bear. It's a female, and the odds of it being a gold are pretty slim. Uh, our loadout for today is the Arzina 300 Mag Tactical from the recently released High Caliber Weapons Pack for our Class 7 to 9 Big Game Animals. For our medium six to uh, uh, four to seven, four to six, four to six animals, we have the Zarza 308 Stalker rifle. I'm sorry, I'm gonna check out this uh, need zone before I continue moving on. Uh, for our class two to three animals, we have the 243 Cuomo Competitor pistol. Um, we generally only need one animal out of those smaller ones because it's very rare to have multiple golds of the small animals in a row so i figured the single shot pistol is probably fine for that and then for our small game we have the anderson 22 defender pistol because i try to do a somewhat realistic loadout having only two long guns and i want those to be my higher powerful higher power weapons so uh, it is a limiting factor but this map only has Miriam's turkeys on it anyway, so the chances of us hitting them with the pistol is actually relatively high. Lastly, we have the Sunberg 454 uh, hand cannon, basically, for self-defense against anything that might want to become aggressive towards us, which on this map would include bison and potentially mountain lions or a black bear, but realistically, the black bears always run away. Don't see any movement from whatever bear was just here, but that's okay. So yeah, uh, the plan, like I said, we're gonna run over here, do this mission. We're looking for somebody who's lost. We'll do whatever this is over here, then we'll run over and grab the lookout point and figure out what we're gonna do from there. So I'll see you guys when something interesting is happening. All right, so the real, oops, wrong one. Oh, ah, I, was gonna, I was gonna try to get him with the pistol, but I, I didn't get like. Just on the off chance that maybe something hit. I was gonna try to take some decent shots, but I had I selected the wrong weapon and then didn't have time to grab it. Generally, I can hit them with the pistol from a reasonable distance, and sometimes even when they're moving. But <clears throat> I messed myself up by pressing the wrong button. Not much I can do about it now. All right. Well, we have ourselves another turkey just kind of chilling here. So let's see if maybe we can hit it. Oh, what was that? A bunch of turkeys over here. They're all little ones, though. So we'll go over and see how we did with the one that we actually hit. It should... Oh, man. I thought I got a better hit than that. A lot of times, if you... if you, A lot of times, if you at least just hit them... They'll go down. There he goes. I think that might have been the one we hit before. I didn't really pay attention to what the estimate was, though. I, I, I have target fixation. I'll look at the thing, and then I won't glance up and look at the card. But uh, hopefully that's the same one we hit before. I guess we'll know if this turns pink at some point. All right. Oh, yeah. Turned out to be a gold. But again, it's not a really big goal. We already have several better specimens already in the lodge. Miriam's turkey are on the Leighton Lakes map, and we already we already had several really good options for that. So we're going to go ahead and continue on towards our mission over here. So I'm not expecting anything to actually happen here, but we have a bighorn sheep that's very close to us. So I'm going to just charge in and see if... Oh, okay. Well, that works too. Where is it? Wow, I lost track of that real quick. Ninety-nine, one hundred five. I was trying to see if I could find a really good specimen, but oh, 
Well, we at least got two of them out of that. I was hoping... Uh, the, the problem with the bighorn sheep is, is that most of them don't tend to have a bunch of any males around, so... Sometimes you just have to take what you can get. Uh, where's the one we got? I'm pretty sure we got both of them down. Yeah. Am I spacing out? I thought one. I thought we got him here in the clearing, and I'm, but I'm not seeing any outlines for animals. So. Okay, I guess it went further than I thought. Wow, my <laughs> I have some serious uh, memory issues. I don't. I could have swore they were in this clearing that we were just looking at. Oh, the mountain lion. That's one of the things that we need. If we could just get eyes on one. All right. Yeah, wasn't expecting too much out of those guys, uh, them being low-level females and all, but that's okay. We're going to continue moving on towards our waypoint and the mission. All right, here we are at the uh, mission area that we need to be at. Fortunately, there's also a an outpost over here that we can get, so it's nice when things line up conveniently that way. What the hell has happened here? It looks like the bears have been using the shed as a latrine and a scratching post. I'm meant to be taking a potential investor to tour the reserve this week. She cannot see this. Baden's not here. There's no sign of her. And I still can't get through to the accountants. They've left the hospital and don't have their cell phones. Can you put the shed back together and tidy things up a bit? I hate to do this, but there's no way I'm going to make it out there before the tour. Well, what do you want me to do then? Oh. It might be from a bear, but why would they come here? Oh, oh okay, here we go. Door. I don't see bears tearing that off. Thanks. It's probably still going to smell pretty bad, but at least it's not covered in bear scat. Bears tend to stay away from humans, and we never kept anything that would attract them inside that shed. Are there any tracks nearby? Oh. The place looked fine <laughs> when I was here last week. Make me look for tracks. All right. I'm guessing this is going to turn into a story That's of sabotage. Unexpected. The public don't tend to drive to the <clears> funicular, <throat> and if it was one of the staff, they'd use quad bikes. This looks like it was left by a car or a truck. I think someone has vandalized our property. It doesn't make a lot of sense, though. Why would anyone come all the way out here to do this? Maybe bored teenagers? I pulled some stupid pranks when I was young, but none involved ferrying around a bunch of bear scat. Mm -hmm. Given that this has happened to the shed, I'm a little worried about the railway itself. It's a unique tourist site, over a hundred years old. It leads all the way up to Prosperity, the reserve's ghost town. It used to be home to the miners who came out here during the Silver Rush. I think it's a little creepy, but tourists like it. Would you check the track out, please? I would feel a lot better knowing it's okay. Ooh, look at that. 103 for a mountain goat. That's definitely gold. Oh, there we go. That's what I need. Nice. Okay. That might actually be our mountain goat. Assuming I used the correct weapon. Okay, yeah, I did. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I pressed 2 or if I pressed 1. All right, so we'll run down and grab that, and then we'll swing back and grab this outpost over here. I know the mission objective is, like, right there, but I just want to hurry up and grab that so we have it as a fast travel option. Uh, let's get our... Let's get our uh, PDA out, or whatever it is that they would call it, <clears throat> the cell phone. And then we'll go grab our goat over here, if I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Grab our goat over here, and hopefully this is going to be our gold trophy goat. What do we have? Very nice. All right. So we will go ahead and mark off that we now have a gold trophy goat. We'll go to our main score sheet, head over to Mountain Goat, and we have a 92.87 
as our current highest score for the goats. So that is extremely awesome. So uh, let's run over here. We'll grab this outpost. Then we'll grab, I guess we'll swing over here and then over here to do these. Looks like the uh, the lookout point is going to be the last thing we do. <laughs> it's just the way that all of the points of interest have kind of flown around here, but that's okay. We'll grab this, unlock it, and then head over to our... Uh, what happened? Oh, oh, it's way up there. Okay, we might be doing the mission first then. <clears throat> grab this guy and let you guys see the little cutscene. I do try to let you guys see the as much of the uh, nice looking things as I can. <clears throat> Some of these cutscenes are a little boring though. That's all right. All right, so uh, we're going to head over, and I guess we're going to do the mission next because the the next waypoint over there is a little high up. All right, we're approaching whatever rail thing that they wanted us to do, and then we're going to have to swing up over the hill here to get to that point of interest. Oh. More goats. None of them are particularly interesting, so we'll just let them go. What's that one? Oh, of course, he went up by the hill. <laughs> Never mind. What? What's going on with the rail? Oh, 33. We need a 36, but uh, if she's just going to sit there like this. Okay, are you gonna oh torn up as in removed how did they even it's just been ripped out of the ground gone this would have taken a crew and equipment this isn't teenagers with too much time on their hands this is the sabotage of one of our irreplaceable attractions I need some pictures I'm gonna send them to the police great <laughs> <laughs> uh, they need to they need to get a little bit faster with the way that all of this works because now I have to run back down there to get pictures. So yeah, that would have been a silver as expected. I would have put a little bit more time and effort into trying to get a good shot on that if I if it had been the potential that we needed. But uh, I knew it, at best it was going to be a silver, so I wasn't overly concerned about it. Let's get back down here, we'll take our pictures, and then we'll run up around the cliff there to grab the waypoint. So uh, we gotta get down here and take a picture. I'm on hold with the sheriff's office. Then I think I need to call my dad. Since it appears that someone is trying to sabotage the reserve, I need you to... Hello, yes, Sheriff Cole, please. I need you to head up to the ghost town and see if they've done any damage there. I'll check in later. Jerry, hey, thanks for picking up so fast. Okay, so I guess we're going to uh, run up the hill here to get our point of interest over there. Then after that, I don't really want to move over into this area yet until we unlock the viewpoint over here. So let's run over there, grab that, then we'll head over to the lookout point. Grab that and make some decisions at that point. All right, this one turns out to be a flag point of interest, so we'll run over here, grab it, read it off, and head over to the viewpoint, the lookout point. The narrow gauge funicular railway here dates from the turn of the 20th century. It was originally used to transport materials up to the settlements. Uh, up to the settlements at the top of the mountain, but quickly became a popular tourist attraction. These days, it has been repurposed as a formidable hiking trail, boasting a steep incline and some great views of the surrounding scenery. So, there you go. So our next goal uh, is going to be the lookout point here, and I think it might actually be slightly faster to go ahead and fast travel back to the outpost and then run up the hill that direction. So I'll see you guys when uh, something interesting happens. All right, so I found another waypoint on our way over here, and I want to make sure we get this guy, hopefully. Crap. Doesn't I don't know that we got a really good shot on him.
The only thing about running around with these semi-automatic weapons is it, it gives you a natural sense of, I don't need to be careful with my shots. <laughs> <laughs> and no matter how much you try to discipline yourself to not do that, once the animal starts, once you once you miss your shot and the animal starts running, you immediately start going, oh crap, bap, bap, bap. So, eh, whatever. It'd be nice if we were able to get another goal. We will go ahead and tax this guy if he turns out to be uh, what we're looking for, but... Uh, oh, he ran off this way? Let's see... Medium bleed rate, which means that we probably got a vital hor vital organ at some point, but I'm not sure how many times I hit him. I think I only hit him twice, but I don't really know. Uh, okay. He wasn't even a gold anyway, so that's not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and take him for cash. We already unlocked this as, an, as a uh, hunting stand, so we'll run up this way. Oh, maybe. Went a little too far down into the hill area here. So, we'll run up this way. I'm not sure if I can come up here, like up and around to the left here, but we'll try. Looks pretty steep to me. But I don't know. We'll find out. Well, we got a bear right here. I don't even know what it was. It just kind of popped up in front of me, and I had to hurry up and press the record button before it ran away. I think it's a female. I saw a couple of females running around. They were they were kind of too obscured by brush to do anything about it, but... Okay, yeah. This is one of the females I saw. So, if missed the first shot. Second one went straight through the lungs there. That'll work out, I think. Uh, I am zigzagging... Oh, man. Okay. I really thought that this was going to allow me to get up the hill here. Um, okay. Well, it's super frustrating that they decided to make this a super long roundabout way of getting up the hill here. It's very annoying that you basically have to come from this area up here to get to this. Uh, we may actually end up getting this lookout or this uh, this outpost over here before we get the lookout point. Just from the way that the terrain is modeled over here, so I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm just gonna follow the road, I guess, and maybe, maybe once we get over here, we'll just run down here, and then we'll finish out the episode over here at this outpost. Because the amount of time it's taking me to walk around this map to do this is uh, a lot more than it normally is because of all the detours that we end up having to take. So unfortunately, that's going to affect recording lengths, but uh, you know. Got to adapt to the situation. And here we are at the lookout point. Took a little bit of doing because the terrain around here is a little bit particular, but we got it done. And here we go to unlock the viewpoint. It is a pretty epic view. Definitely worth the climb. And now we're going to head back over to that outpost uh, over here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, we can head back to this outpost here, and then in the next episode, we can run... Grab these two guys here, and maybe grab this lookout point. And then come down and do this, and then we'll finish out the red reserve by coming up like that. I think that's kind of the plan for now. So let's go ahead and get this set as our waypoint, and travel the half a kilometer it takes to get over there. Alright, so we are almost at the outpost here, and I was going to go ahead and end the episode, but as I'm looking at the map, I'm thinking it might actually be a better idea to just go ahead and push on in to grab this over here, because there's a massive ridge line that goes all the way around this area. And I know that when I come back to record a few days from now, I'm not going to remember that we it, it's going to be easier for us to just come up and grab this now while we're here, uh, rather than trying to do it this way. So. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab this outpost here and then continue up into the valley and go get that viewpoint up there. That way we can just get the entire middle of the map here done and then finish. we can finish out the reserve by swinging around in the valleys around the outside of all of this. So I'm going to go ahead and set this as our next waypoint. And I'm just going to follow the valley up until we get over to it. 
Let's take a look just real quick to see if there's anything out here worth going for. Usually not, but uh, it doesn't hurt to check it out. All right, we got ourselves a mountain goat just kind of chilling over here. Down it goes. What do we have? There was something else that was over here that said it was running. Unfortunately, it went over the other side of the hill, so I don't know. That's all right. We got ourselves the initial one that we saw, and it had a pretty decent score estimate, so maybe we'll be able to grab ourselves another gold uh, mountain goat to put on the wall. Still not a mountain lion like I'd like to find, but, uh, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Grab our PDA to be able to find this guy and see how we did. Seems to be a lot more open space up in this area, though, so that's pretty nice. It's going to make it a little bit easier to find animals and take decent shots at them. What did this guy turn out to be? Aw, he was just a silver. Oh, he was so close, too. All right, well, we'll take the... Uh, what is this? 55, 75, 68. It's all females. I don't really want to spook anything else in the area by taking a shot at clearly non-trophy animals. So we'll let them run away. Because realistically, I'm trying to ho I'm trying I'm hoping that we're going to stumble across a mountain lion here pretty soon. And better to better to let these guys go rather than alert everything within 500 yards of us. All right, we made it up to this little valley area with the big lake in the middle of it. There is a flag point of interest over here that we're going to read off in a second. I just want to make sure that there's nothing in this big open clearing that would be easy for us to take a shot at. And let's see. The Ute people have inhabited this region for centuries. Sharing a language and culture, the 12 bands stretch from Utah in the northwest to Colorado and New Mexico in the southeast. The Uncompro, however you say that, band live as nomadic hunter-gatherers, moving up the sun sister, moving up into the Sun Sisters Mountains to hunt in the summer and wintering in the valleys. They are known for being one of the first peoples to harvest triboluminescence. Ceremonial rattles made of from the translucent buffalo skin are filled with quartz crystals that produce flashes of light under mechanical stress when shaken. Okay, that's cool. I I didn't know that. That's pretty interesting. Uh, looks like we have another point of interest to grab over here on our way, and I would imagine that this road here probably ends in a um, an outpost. Oh, what's this? Bighorn, she Bighorn sheep. We'll pull the weapon out, but I don't foresee taking a shot at any of the females here. If I could see them. I don't. I just got kind of unlucky with their positioning, but that's all right. Let's check out the lake here and see if there's anything worth going for. Uh, Bighorn sheep. We need a 132.7. Neither of those were. Uh, that one could be. Well, oh, I was zeroed improperly. Uh, we'll just let them go. As always, my my lack of paying attention causes me issues. But it is what it is. We'll just let them go, because I'm not going to be able to get a good shot on them running away, and they're already pretty far. So just on the off chance that maybe we spot a mountain lion over on the other side. Mountain goats. We're looking for a, an 84.12 for the goats. They're all kind of small. So I'm not overly concerned about them. I'd really like to find a mountain lion, but it just doesn't seem like we're gonna get doesn't seem like we're gonna get what we need for that. Alright, well, uh we'll swing over here. This is probably gonna be a hunting stand, and as expected, this is gonna be an outpost over here. So I will run up the hill and see you guys when something interesting happens. 
All right, we're almost to the outpost over here, and I think we're going to go ahead and call it. We can always get the lookout point in a future episode. This allows us to fast travel, and I think that's good enough. So hopefully you guys have been having lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you have so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a membership, you can always leave YouTube's form of a tip with that thanks button. Direct, ah, sorry, direct contributions such as these are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys have been enjoying these hunts. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.